A person hears a lot about duty and honor when they are in one of the service industries, like the police force. You see it on the sides of cars. You hear it a lot if you're in the military. But how about for all of us regular citizens? Honor is one of the most important things that you can live your life by. Stephen Covey has said personal honor is the mortar that holds the bricks of life in place. In the Bible, in Proverbs 10, verse 9, it says people with integrity walk safely, but those who follow crooked paths will slip and fall. As thoughtful adults, we know right from wrong. I've never met a person that didn't know right from wrong, even when they chose wrong all the time. But we can easily, as adults, lose sight of those distinctions in the world that presents us with countless temptations dressed up in the robes of false virtue. Those temptations have a potential to harm us, in part because they lead us to be dishonest with ourselves and others. Recently on my computer, I was downloading something and it said, warning, do you really want to download this? It can harm your computer. And I clicked, yes, I want to download this. Well, that was the end of my computer. It can be the end of our life when we do not live with honor. Now I'm talking about the end of a good life, the end of a, a life that brings joy. Now it all begins in simple ways. We start as young people bending the truth. And once we start bending the truth, we're likely to keep bending it. But if we acquire the habit of being completely forthright with God and with other people and with ourselves, that's a big one, we lie to ourselves, we'll avoid the crooked and the slippery path that leads eventually to our downfall of really living a good life. The next time that you are faced with the opportunity to bend the truth, choose integrity instead. And when you do, your footing will remain firm and your life will be blessed. Honor is the mortar that holds the bricks of life in place, and I pray that it holds the bricks of your life in place.